All right. Uh, it's my turn now. And we had... Oh, sorry. We did the uh, Weinstein and the Nigga Nigga And we gave it an eight and a half. Eight, eight nine. Eight. 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 It was a good beer. Uh, I don't know, man. These are... Mirrors beer. Mirrors beer. We talked Sounds about this good. an all damn night, haven't we? Yep. All damn night. There you go. Now, this is a uh, Oklahoma beer by Chalk Brewing Company. It's three two, right? Yeah, last time I checked, it was three two. I think. It Oh, it on their website. Oh, shit, it just blew a load all over me. <laughs> shit, shit. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Yep. And I just spilt it. Motherfucker. Fucking splooging. I tried backing off. I guess it didn't back off enough. <laughs> well, that is some yellow grapefruit. Juice looking shit, isn't it? Don't I tell you, it's cloudy as hell. I told you, it's cloudy. You ain't seeing through it. Damn. Oh, it is some cloud. It smells very weedy. Oh, it's weedy. It, it, it's a wheat beer, non filtered. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Every <I'm> like, <laughs> Oh, man. It's wheat. Yeah. Not as strong as you were thinking it was going to be. No, it's a, yeah. it's a lot of grain, though. I'm not getting any any citrus hints that I do like with wheats. It's just like 100% straight wheat liquid is what it is. Grainy wheat. It's not... It's good. Yeah, that's why I was... I drank it for first time uh, at Mears. Ordered it and had them bring me a glass on the side so you know I could pour it and drink out of my glass. And I was like, hmm. I was like, that's different. I was like, I, but it's not bad. I like it, but it just didn't have any other flavor but a weedy, grainy flavor. And it's a non filtered wheat beer. I'll tell them how much it costs. I wish they'd. Uh... Now, this is a, just a, you know, occasion thing. Uh, you don't want to go be going down there and bite it in bulk. You know why? It was, what, 20 bucks $20. for a four-pack? Damn. But this is a one, like a one pint, one six ounces. ounces. Over. Yeah. So you got a couple beers in there. Yep. But still, an eight-pack for $20? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yep. Even if you cut it in half, that's still eight beers for twenty bucks. You're paying over two dollars per twelve ounces. Yeah, Which actually ain't too bad. Yeah, that's like a, going to the bar and buying a beer. Yeah, eighteen bucks for four. Hmm? Eighteen bucks. For four. It, it is, but that's more than one beer in a bottle yeah, yeah. per twelve ounces. I, I just remember that bought eight in eight case. Yeah, we, my dad was one that took us all down there, and we went to Mirrors. He was, you know, home from work. Works on the road, and we we're hanging out. We got most of it out, huh? Yep. We cleaned it out. But uh, he took us down there, and I told him I was going to buy some for me and Stephen to review. And when he went to pay for the meal and everything, he said, nah, give me two four-packs, and he bought it for us. So we got $40 worth of beer beer <laughs> from now, my dad. this is the first YouTube review, and I will add this is our eighth beer of the night. Yeah. In a row within like I don't know, an hour, hour and a half. Yeah. So I'm I'm sorry if I disrespected uh, Mir's beer by spilling it on the on the pool table. But it's not bad. It's but, uh, good. You know, shit happens. It's really sticky. But yeah, but since it is non-filtered, make sure before you open the bottle, you 
Mix it up. Yeah. Mix it up. I mean, shake it up for a while, let it sit for just a little bit, then pop the top. It'll start kind of foaming, but just pour it out. You're good. Pour it on in your glass. But if you don't shake it and you just have it sitting somewhere for a while and then you just pop the top and pour it in your glass, your first full glass ain't going to be the cloudiness like that. It's all going to still be settled in the bottom. And so when you go to take that other glass, you're going to have double of the sediment in that one glass and you'll never get the true taste. you got to have it mixed up right off the bat for you to actually really taste the beer the way it should be. This has a very, like candy kind of flavor to it. It's not sweet though. It's got the candy flavor. Um, it's got the graininess to it. I do like it. I can definitely say this. It is an Oklahoma style kind of beer. You know, very easy going. Exactly. Easy going. Um, it's not complicated. If you don't like it, then you probably need to stick to Wine Coolers and Boone's Farm. Because this is all around good. Yeah. I could see this with a... Uh, I could definitely see it with a bacon cheeseburger. With a... Uh, and that's what Mears is. The, the restaurant is Mears. Read that is known for it. It's their burgers. It's Longhorn meat. Their own Longhorns they raise themselves. Mm -hmm. Not bought meat from somewhere else. It's their own Longhorns that are slaughtered and they use their meat. And it is good burgers. And, and you can go to the Mears website. Uh, I can't remember the exact, if it's Mears.com or whatever. But if you Google Mears, M-E-E-R-S, in Oklahoma, it'll pop up. This would also be good with uh, uh, cream-style gravy and chicken strips. I could honestly see that would be Sit there chicken great. Strip, dip it in some gravy, eat it. And... Mm. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> Why did you have to do that? Oh, man. We got too much beer to eat something. This is a beer that will uh, complement anything, even strawberry shortcake, because it's got that candy sweetness to it. But it don't have the sweetness. Or the candy flavor, but not the yeah. sweetness. Yeah, it's, uh, <clears throat> I mean, if, if you drink this and say you don't like it, or you hate it, or you or you just put it to the side and, or give it to somebody else, then, like I said, you need to stick to the Smirnoff's. Because right. if you uh, like beer, period, you might not prefer this. But you're not going to be like, oh, God, I hate that shit. I can't drink it. Because it's an average. It's easy going. It's not filling either. I mean, this is a big bottle. And I'm not feeling any more different in drinking, uh, you know, I had it up to here than uh, any other beer. Well, seeing as how it ain't never been done before on YouTube, I guess I'll go ahead and read the whole back. Go ahead. Everyone these days wants to make a beer. We tried it and failed miserably, so we decided to outsource our damn it, <clears throat> fledging, fledgling, whatever, brewing function. We searched far and wide for a micro brewery that would make a beer worthy of washing down a world famous Mears Burger. Out of the blue, a customer from New York wrote to us about the beer sold by, I don't want to pronounce it wrong, is that Curbs? Krebs. Krebs. Krebs Brewing Company of Krebs, Oklahoma. We decided to try their beer. We peered down our enlarged bellies, and then in parentheses it has products of burgers and test beers. <laughs> To dot on the map and plotted a course to Krebs. Once there, we sniffed, sipped, and swigged. Our customer was right. That night, hands were shook and our search ended. We think you'll agree that the golden, unfiltered contents of this bottle are a perfect match for a Mears burger. The special brew you are holding was handcrafted in the former Indian territory. The recipe was passed down from generation to generation in the Choctaw Nation and to the founder of the Krebs Brewing Company who was generously made this special brew available to us. I mean, so that's your history on it. 
This is made by Chalk Brewing Company. We've done some other beer reviews mm. through them. And, uh, you know, we're, we're Oklahoma natives, and we tell about how it is. Uh, some of the Chalks we didn't like. Some of the Marshalls we didn't like. Uh, some Marshall, of the Mustangs, most of the Mustangs we didn't like. Yeah. And that's all Oklahoma stuff. But, uh, I mean, we tell how it is, but this is good. We're not, we're not, you know, we say this is the first video review of this beer. We're not saying it's good because it is the first video review. We're saying it's good because it is good. Yeah. Um, all around, I mean, even though it's 3.2%, it's good tasting. Yeah. I mean, if you want to get drunk quick, I mean, there's some Everclear over there. Go eat some Tuckalo. Yeah, it's 18.2%. Tastes like shit, but if you're worried about getting drunk, there you go. Go chug just a couple Tokelos, you'll be feeling good. We're all about flavor. We're no, we don't yeah. care about alcohol percentage. Um, I can even say I'm sobering up a little bit drinking this beer. I like it. It's good beer. Um, I don't think we need to turn our back and say what we think we, about this beer. I'm going to go ahead and give this beer... Eight. I was going to say nine. I think it's good all around. Uh, I cannot think of anything dessert, appetizer, uh, entree that would not be good with this. It's good all around beer. It's it, it, it's an average wheat beer kind of deal. Like as in, it's not too much of this or it's not too much of that. or mm -hmm. It's just all mellowed out into a very smooth going beer. Yep. And uh, I was a little uh, little scared of the bottle size, but I like the flavor, so we, we drank the whole damn thing. Yeah, we decided to say, go ahead and fill our glasses up and share the whole bottle. Kind of feel bad now, I spilled a little bit on the pool table. <laughs> but at least now the pool table's christened with some good beer. But guess what? <laughs> uh, after that one, uh, we still have seven Mears beers. And eight other beers drinking. You got some more in the fridge? I brought out one extra one to set outside because oh, I knew is. you were going to like it. That's why you're like, why'd you bring two bottles out? Says, I'm bringing out these two big old bottles. And I was like, oh, I'm just bringing yeah. it outside. There I it knew it would be a good one. Things cold. Good beer. Um, I'm not going to bullshit you. Uh, you know, we don't care about alcohol. We, we care about flavor here. If uh, alcohol is what you're, uh, the alcohol point is what you're looking for, go to liquor. There you go. Or take that and put some liquor in it. There you go. <laughs> All right, we're going to go to the next beer. Thank you.